Happy Monday, everybody. On this Monday, I'm going to be sharing with you a Halloween book that I love reading to my kids because it's fun and the way that I read it is funny. And it is called Where's My Mummy? I love this because I like to read it in a British accent whenever the little mummy talks because in England, whenever they say mom or mommy, it sounds like mummy. So that's why I love this book so much. Just the book's really cute, but I just love the way that I get to read it. And I do it every year at Halloween time. It is written by C Carolyn Crimmy, and it's illustrated by John Manders. Oh, I forgot to do the walkthrough. Front cover, spine, back cover. Hopefully everyone can tell me what the name of this page is. That's right, it's the title page. Very good. Remember, the author writes the words. The author writes the words. Hi, ho, did you know? The author writes the words. The illustrator draws the pictures. The illustrator draws the pictures. Hi, ho, did you know? The illustrator draws the pictures. On a deep, dark night in a deep, dark place, little baby mummy did not want to go to bed. Just one more game of hide and shriek, he pleaded to big mama mummy. Count your bandages while I hide. Little baby mummy ran and hid and waited until mama mummy where are you? He looked over graves and he looked over tombs, but Big Mama Mummy was nowhere to be found. There is nothing scarier than whenever you lose your parents. I know everyone probably has a small experience with this. So I'm sure he feels a lot of anxiety. He's very scared. He's in a scary place. So let's see what he does. So he trumped, trumped, trumped to the deep dark woods, the spookery woods, to look for Big Mama Mummy. He stopped and he listened. Clink, clink, clank, woo, 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 clank, clink, clue. Does anybody know what the name of these words are? It's a type of figurative language that we're gonna be looking at because we're gonna be studying figure language for the next couple of weeks. These are called onomatopoeia and they're words that make the same sound. So the word clank is the actual sound that you hear. Mama Mummy, is that you? But out of the woods clanked. Hmm, what goes clank? That's Halloween related. Make a prediction in your mind. Let's see if you're right. Bones, you're not my mummy. Bones was brushing his Clicky clack teeth. Little baby mommy, go to bed, he said. There are creatures that bite in the deep dark night. Then he gargled with goo. Gargled with goo is another type of figurative language called alliteration. You know, whenever you say Sally shell sells seashells by the seashore. See, I can barely say it. That is alliteration whenever it has the same beginning sound. So gargling goo is alliteration. I'm not scared. Little baby mummy tromp, tromp, tromp to the deep dark swamp, the slithery swamp. There it is again, slithery swamp. That's alliteration. To look for big mama mummy. He stopped and he listened. Glug, glug, glip, glug, glug, gloop, glug, glug, gloop. Mama mummy, is that you? But out of the swamp slid. Hmm, what's in a swamp that slides? Make a prediction. What do you think's gonna slide out of the swamp? That's Halloween related. Glop, you're not my mummy. Glop shook his wiggly wobbly head. Little baby mummy, go to bed, he said. There are creatures that creep in the deep dark night. And he washed the gunk off of his ooey gooey face. I'm not scared. So already he said he's not scared of two really scary things. So you can infer that little baby mummy is 
brave or courageous. You're right. I'm not scared. Little baby mummy tromp, tromp, tromp to the deep, dark cave, the shivery cave, to look for big mama mummy. He stopped and he listened. Flap, flip, flap, wop, wop, woo. Flap, flip, flu. Mama mummy, is that you? But out of the cave, whooshed. Hmm, what would be in a cave that goes whoosh? That was my prediction. Drac, you're not my mummy. Dracula flapped his flippity floppity wings. Little baby mummy, go to bed, he said. There are creatures that swoop in the deep dark night. Then he scrubbed his long pointy ears. I'm not scared. Little baby mummy plumped down under a creaky, squeaky tree. Mama mummy, where are you? He stopped and he listened. Rustle, 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 screech, scratch, screech. Rustle, rustle, rustle. Mama mummy, is that you? But out of the tree popped. Hmm, what's gonna pop out of the tree? Let's see if you're right. A mouse. That's not what I thought it was going to be. A mouse. Help, Mama Mummy. I'm scared. So he's not scared of all these scary Halloween um, different creatures like Skull and Glop and Dracula, but there's a little mouse and he's scared. I'm here, cried Big Mama Mummy. Little baby mummy and big mama mummy tromped back home where they brushed and combed and gargled and scrubbed. Then big mama mummy wrapped little baby mummy up tight and he slept and he snored for the rest of the night. Wee, 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 snoo, 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 wee, wee, snoo. Ezra makes these same noises all night long. The end.